how's it guys? Welcome to another episode of Big John's Wine Adventures. And today we're gonna be exploring downtown Honolulu. We're gonna be checking out all the historical sites of downtown Honolulu, uh, like the King Kamehameha statue that you see behind me, as well as the Aliolani Hale uh, building, which is the uh, State Stream Court building now. And also Iolani Palace across the street, as well as many other uh, historical sites around downtown Honolulu. By the way, Iolani Palace uh, was the place where the great kings and queens of Hawaii had once stayed before Hawaii was annexed by the United States. Now, also we're gonna be checking out some of the uh, best restaurants here in downtown. And I'm also gonna be showing you guys a lot of art galleries here as well in downtown, quite famous. So uh, a lot to see, a lot to do, got a big day. So come with me on another episode of Big John's Wine Adventures. Let's go. All right, so just behind me, you have the famous Aliolani Hale building, which houses the Hawaii State, State Supreme Court. And, uh, you know, long before Hawaii was uh, annexed by the United States government, uh, King Commander III actually established this building to modernize uh, Hawaii. And this is actually the official headquarters of Hawaii Five-0, the original series. All right, so just behind me, you have the famous King Kamehameha statue, the statue of the first king of Hawaii, the one who united all these islands and made one kingdom under his reign. Prior to that, each island had its own ali'i, its own chief. And King Kamehameha was originally from the Big Island. He was one of the chiefs there. Now, what's so interesting about this statue is it's actually not the first statue, it is actually the second one. The original statue was forged in Florence, Italy. And, uh, and by the way, that's why the statue actually kind of features Greek. It has Greek features uh, because the sculptor that was building it compared it to other Greek statues and, uh, and that's why it really doesn't have King Kamehameha, the statue itself doesn't really have the Polynesian features. It has more of those Greek features. Now what's so interesting is the original King Kamehameha statue that was uh, forged in uh, Florence, Italy, uh, the ship that was carrying it over here actually sunk uh, just off the coast of uh, uh, Falkland Islands uh, on the way over here and uh, luckily the statue was insured so they built a second one shortly after that and uh, it was brought over here in 1883 so the original one sunk off the coast of Falkland Islands in 1880 now what is so incredible is in 1912 they actually found the original statue the missing statue that was lost at sea and they brought it over to Big Island where it now sits in the town of Kapa'au which is the original birthplace of King Kamehameha I. So just behind me, you have a massive Indian banyan tree, uh, which are quite common here in Hawaii, originally from India. And the way these trees grow, as the branches spread out, the roots actually come down from the branches. Once it touches the soil, then it sprouts back up again. So this particular Indian banyan tree, located right next to the Hawaii State Stream Court building, uh, they say that was uh, it was planted uh, here by Queen Emma herself, who was the fourth queen of Hawaii.
So just behind me, guys, you have the Kauai Aha'o Church, one of the oldest churches in Hawaii. And it was constructed between 1836 and 1842. It was the chapel of the royal family of the Hawaiian kingdom. And, you know, the entire church, the walls of the church here was made out of coral blocks. So pretty incredible.
All right, so as you can see, I am right behind Iolani Palace. This is where the famous Kings of Queens of Hawaii once stayed. And it was actually commissioned by King David Kalakaua, who was the last king of Hawaii. He was invited to Buckingham Palace by the Queen of England. And when he visited that palace, he was so impressed. When he came back to Hawaii, he decided to build one for himself. That's why it kind of resembles the Buckingham Palace. And it was the first building ever in Hawaii to have electricity. All right, so just behind me here, guys, we have the Iolani Barracks right next to Iolani Palace and also known as Halekoa, which means House of Warrior in Hawaiian because this is where the King's Guard slept. This is where they stayed, the ones who protected the King. Now, what's so interesting about this building, it actually stayed, the original one was not here. It was actually on Hotel Street, uh, not too far from here. And it was moved here block by block to make room for the State Capitol building in 1965. So just behind me here is the backside of Iolani Palace and this is where you start the guided tours. They do offer guided tours and uh, they also have self-guided audio tours. Uh, and uh, we're going to go inside in just a few minutes here uh, on one of these guided tours and uh, let them take us around and show us some of the historical artifacts inside the building.
All right, so just behind me, you have the Hawaii State Capitol building. And the architecture of this building is quite unique because everything actually has a meaning. It has a symbol. So I'll explain. First of all, uh, you can see that it has two columns on each side. And those uh, basically represent the two uh, legislative chambers. And uh, each column is actually surrounded by a cinder cone that represents our volcanoes. The columns that you see, uh, it has eight columns on each side uh, and, and, and four sides. So it has eight columns on each side of the building. And uh, these eight columns represent the eight major islands of Hawaii. And the columns themselves represent uh, royal palm trees or they're in the shape of uh, royal palm trees. So uh, it has a, uh, you know, architecturally very deep meaning, uh, this building. It's very quite unique. And as you can see, the middle of it, it's open to let the, the weather in, you know, the sun, the rain, uh, just kind of have that exposed as well. So quite unique. Okay, so if you come to the front of the state capitol building, you will see the Great Seal of Hawaii, uh, which features the uh, state motto uh, on the uh, lower side of the circle, which says, Ua Mau Ke Ea O Ka Aina Ika Pono, which means the life of the land is perpetuated in righteousness. And if you look at the uh, inner circle, uh, above it has 1959, uh, just at the top, uh, just above the uh, rising sun, uh, which was the year that Hawaii was admitted to the United States, uh, becoming, becoming the 50th state of the United States. As you come out of the state capitol building, you will see a statue of Queen Lydia Klani, who was the last Hawaiian monarch before Hawaii was annexed by the United States.
So just behind me, you have the statue of Father Damien. And Father Damien uh, became famous for helping out the uh, folks who were uh, suffering from uh, leprosy uh, in the uh, leprosy colony of the island of Molokai. And unfortunately, Father Damien ended up getting leprosy uh, himself. And what happened was uh, he eventually came to uh, a point where he had to wear a a wooden box uh, around his body so that his clothes wouldn't stick to his skin because his skin was covered in open sores and wounds because he was suffering from from leprosy and that's why the statue that you see behind me of father damien looks very boxy and it's because of that wooden box that he used to wear outside his body pretty sad but uh quite uh remarkable what father damien did uh, to go and help out that leprosy colony once again on the island of Molokai. Sorry? Are you here for the Art Museum? Yes. Is it your first time here? Yes. Uh, welcome for your first time. Thank you. Hawaii State Art Museum. Thank you. But well, we have both the sections open for the Hawaii Triangle. The guidebook's right here if you're interested. Okay. And you don't have a bag, do you? Just no. Oh, so feel free to enjoy. Take as many photos or videos as you want. Just no flash. Got it. Thank you. Enjoy.
All right, guys, so just behind me, you have Washington Place, which was built in 1847. And this is a uh, Greek Revival Palace uh, that was actually here during the time when Queen Lidiklani was around, when uh, the Hawaiian monarchy was still here. In fact, this is actually where Queen Lidiklani was arrested during the overthrowing of the Hawaiian Kingdom. Now, later on, this became the official residence of the governor of Hawaii. Parking can be quite an issue here in downtown. It's very difficult to find parking. Uh, but one place that I would uh, suggest for parking is uh, here at Mark's Garage because of the location. It's kind of like right in the heart of everything in downtown. You got Chinatown right here next door. And then you also have the Hawaii Theater on the other side as well. So if you guys are looking for parking, this is where I would recommend at Mark's Garage. And uh, you also have plenty of meter parking as well on the side of the roads here. All right, so while you guys are here in downtown, make sure you check out the arts here at Mark's Garage, especially if you're a big fan of art. This is a nonprofit organization where they you get a give a chance for local artists to showcase their work. So a uh, really cool place and uh, really great artwork. So come check it out when you guys are here in downtown. So I'm at the historical Chinatown here in downtown Honolulu and when you come over here to Chinatown you're gonna see a lot of these red brick buildings like the one that you see behind me and there's actually a reason for that that's because long before Waikiki was built this is where the first development began here in downtown so we're talking late 1800s early 1900s so at that time these sail ships these merchant vessels when they were 
coming over here, uh, before they came over here, they would actually load each side of the vessel with these red bricks in order to weigh it down for, to prevent it from capsizing these ships when they were crossing these heavy seas to get over here. Now, when the ships got here, they would then dump those red bricks in order to make room for their cargo, and the Hawaiians used those red bricks to build Honolulu. Now, there's actually a lot more of these red brick buildings, but over time, a lot of them have been painted over, so you can no longer see the red bricks. So just behind me is another historical building, the Kumukahua Theater here in downtown Honolulu. This is where a lot of the local writers and the artists can show their showcase their uh, their playwrights. Alright, so I'm at one of my favorite places to eat here in downtown Honolulu. I'm at Fet. And uh, I would say the most popular dish uh, from this restaurant is the fried Korean chicken sandwich, uh, which is really good, and also the uh, fried potatoes. Those are really good as well. So make sure you uh, try that out if you do come over here once again. Fet. <laughs> While you guys are here in downtown, make sure you check out Smith's Union Bar, the oldest bar in town, established in 1934, still here. All right, so I'm at the old Ironside Tattoo Parlor. This is the oldest tattoo shop in Hawaii, guys. And Sailor Jerry himself was actually tattooing sailors right here during World War II.
right, and if you guys come over here to downtown, make sure you check out Jay Dolan's, which is a very lively Irish pub. They also have pretty good pizza here as well. It used to be called Jay, Jay Dolan's, by the way, until one of the Jays left and opened, uh, uh, I guess, his own bar. So now it's called Jay Dolan's. It's uh, right across from the Hawaii uh, State Theater. So yeah, if you guys do come over here on this side, uh, make sure you check it out. Okay, so I'm at another favorite restaurant of mine here in downtown Honolulu, the Pig and the Lady, which is considered Vietnamese fusion. And their two most, uh, most popular uh, dishes uh, from the lunch menu uh, is what I got right here, which is the pho French dip, uh, and also the LFC wings right here, and they're both really good. So when you guys come here downtown Chinatown, make sure you try out the Pig and the Lady.
Okay, so I'm at the Mount Kea Market uh, food court right now, uh, where the famous Maguro Brothers are located, uh, which I think has the best poke in downtown Honolulu. And I got the most popular poke bowl, which is the spicy mayo ahi. So we're gonna go and try it out now and see how it is. All right, so just behind me here, you have the historical Mandancha building in Chinatown here in downtown Honolulu. This is one of the oldest buildings in Chinatown. It was built in 1901, right after the second fire uh, of Chinatown in 1900. So this is actually the second oldest Chinatown in the United States. The first one is in San Francisco and the second one is over here. However, the Chinatown that you see today is not the first Chinatown built. It is actually the third one, the first one actually was uh, burned down in 1886 uh, one of the vessels that came over to that pier down that street I don't know if you guys can see it uh, accidentally brought disease carrying rats the rats went out of the vessel and headed right up into Chinatown where it caused a major plague in this area so what they did was a controlled fire they actually burned the entire town in order to get rid of that plague so Chinatown was rebuilt but it was burned down again in 1900s you see Chinatown was a big problem of gambling there was a big problem of gambling here at that time and gambling is illegal in Hawaii so when the police came to crack down they started burning all the evidences that relate to gambling well the fire quickly got a control and the whole town ended up burning once again so the Chinatown that you see here today is once again the third one and hopefully fingers crossed it'll be the last but this building was built right after the second fire once again in 1901 one of the oldest buildings in downtown Honolulu All right, guys, so as you can see behind me, we have Aloha Tower, which is considered one of the main landmarks of Hawaii. And it's actually a retired lighthouse that was built in 1926. And just off the coast of downtown Honolulu, you have the Coast Guard that's stationed over here. And you can see some of the ships just in the back, right behind the Law Tower. So if you guys do come over here to Aloha Tower and Marketplace, right next to Aloha Tower, you're gonna find a very interesting looking ship. And that is the Falls of Clyde uh, that you see right here next to me. It is once again right next to Aloha Tower. And this ship 
is the last surviving iron hold four mastered sorry four masted full rigged ship and the only remaining sail driven oil tanker and it was designated a u.s national historic landmark in 1989 and she's now considered a museum ship a, here in honolulu but unfortunately uh, her condition has deteriorated over the years and she's currently now uh, not open to public uh, it has been deemed uh, too dangerous to get on board uh, for the public so it is closed to the public at the uh, at this point Well, there you have it guys, another episode of Big John's Wine Adventures. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode and that gives you a little bit of a taste of downtown Honolulu. And uh, there's a couple of places uh, that I did not mention on this video as far as eating goes that I would recommend. One is um, Livestock Tavern, uh, which is only open for dinner. Uh, that place is really good, so I would recommend going there for dinner as well. And the other one is uh, Nico's uh, at Pier 38, uh, which is one of the best seafood restaurants in town. And uh, I would recommend going there for sunset. From there, you get a very nice sunset view of the harbor. But uh, if you want to see the sunset view, uh, you do have to sit at the outdoor patio. But guess what? That's where everybody wants to sit. So you want to make sure you make a reservation before you go there and request to be seated at the outdoor patio. And uh, other than that, I think uh, I covered all the other restaurants. And uh, as you can see, lots of great restaurants, lots of great pubs, Irish pubs, lots of history, lots of historical buildings. So if you guys are into that kind of stuff, then downtown Honolulu might be the place for you. So until I see you guys on the next episode, like and subscribe if you guys want to see more of these episodes. And thank you so much for tuning in and mahalo nui loa. Aloha.